Another Day, Another Story. Title, Effective Communication for Leaders, The Ultimate Guide, The Legacy Factor. Script. Hello and welcome to my channel, where we help you to become a leader who makes a positive difference in the world. In this video, we are going to give you the ultimate guide to effective communication for leaders. But first, what is effective communication? Effective communication is the ability to convey your message clearly, accurately, and persuasively to others. It is the skill to listen actively, empathetically, and respectfully to others. It is the art to build rapport, trust, and influence with others. It is the key to successful leadership and legacy. Why is effective communication important for leaders? Effective communication is important for leaders because it helps you to achieve your vision, values, goals, and objectives as a leader. Inspire and motivate others to join your cause or vision as a leader. Empower and develop others to achieve their potential and goals as a leader. Resolve conflicts, problems, and challenges as a leader. Create and maintain positive relationships with your followers, partners, and stakeholders as a leader. Enhance your reputation, credibility, and trustworthiness as a leader. Make a positive impact on your team, organization, community, and society as a leader. How can you improve your communication skills as a leader? Well, there are many aspects of communication that you need to master as a leader. Such as verbal communication, non-verbal communication, written communication, interpersonal communication, group communication, public communication, and many other communications channels. But don't worry. We are here to help you. In this video, we will provide you with 10 practical tips and exercises that will help you to improve your communication skills as a leader. So let's get started. Tip 1. Know your audience. The first tip to improve your communication skills as a leader is to know your audience. Knowing your audience means understanding who they are, what they need, what they want, what they expect, what they value, what they think, what they feel, and how they communicate. Knowing your audience will help you to tailor your message, style, tone, language, and channel to suit their preferences and needs. Knowing your audience will also help you to anticipate their questions, objections, feedbacks, and reactions. To know your audience better, you can use the following exercise. Before you communicate with your audience, do some research on them. Find out their background, demographics, interests, opinions, attitudes, and behaviors. You can use various sources such as surveys, interviews, observations, or online platforms to gather information about your audience. During your communication with your audience, pay attention to their verbal and nonverbal cues. Listen to their words, tone, and volume. Observe their body language, facial expressions, and eye contact. Notice their emotions, moods, and reactions. You can use various techniques such as paraphrasing, summarizing, reflecting, or asking questions to check your understanding of your audience. After your communication with your audience, evaluate the effectiveness and efficiency of your communication. Ask for feedback from your audience or from others who witnessed or participated in your communication. Review the results or outcomes of your communication. Identify the strengths and weaknesses of your communication. Learn from your mistakes and successes. Tip 2. Have a clear purpose. The second tip to improve your communication skills as a leader is to have a clear purpose. Having a clear purpose means knowing why you communicate with others. It means having a specific goal or objective that you want to achieve or accomplish through your communication. It means having a clear message that you want to convey or deliver to others. Having a clear purpose will help you to focus on the most important and relevant information that you want to share with others. Organize and structure your information in a logical and coherent way that makes sense to others. Emphasize and highlight the key points or benefits that you want others to remember or act upon. To have a clear purpose for your communication, you can use the following exercise. Before you communicate with others, write down your purpose statement in one sentence that summarizes why you communicate with them. For example, 
My purpose is to persuade my team members to adopt a new software system that will improve our productivity and efficiency. During your communication with others, remind yourself of your purpose statement and use it as a guide for your communication. For example, today I want to talk to you about why we need to adopt a new software system that will improve our productivity and efficiency. After your communication with others, evaluate how well you achieved or accomplished your purpose through your communication. For example, did I persuade my team members to adopt the new software system? Did I provide enough evidence and benefits to support my argument? Did I address their concerns and questions? Tip 3. Use simple and clear language. The third tip to improve your communication skills as a leader is to use simple and clear language. Using simple and clear language means using words and phrases that are easy to understand and remember by others. It means avoiding jargon, slang, acronyms, or technical terms that may confuse or alienate others. It means using active, positive, and concrete words that convey your message accurately and effectively. Using simple and clear language will help you to reduce the risk of misunderstanding, misinterpretation, or confusion among others. Increase the clarity, accuracy, and precision of your message. Enhance the credibility, trustworthiness, and professionalism of your message. To use simple and clear language in your communication, you can use the following exercise. Before you communicate with others, review your message and check if it is simple and clear. For example, is my message easy to understand and remember by others? Have I avoided jargon, slang, acronyms, or technical terms that may confuse or alienate others? Have I used active, positive, and concrete words that convey my message accurately and effectively? During your communication with others, Use simple and clear language and avoid unnecessary or complicated words or phrases. For example, instead of saying, we need to implement a paradigm shift in our organizational culture to leverage our core competencies and achieve our strategic objectives, say, we need to change the way we work together to use our strengths and reach our goals. After your communication with others, ask for feedback on your language and check if it was simple and clear. For example, did you understand my message? Was it clear and precise? Did you have any difficulty with any words or phrases? Thank you for watching this video and joining us on this legacy journey. We hope that you have learned some useful tips and exercises to improve your communication skills as a leader. If you want to learn more about how to become a leader who makes a positive difference in the world, please check out our book, The Legacy Factor. How Successful Leaders Make a Difference in the World, by Dizzy Davidson, which you can find in the descriptions below. We would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment below and let us know what you think of this video. What are your challenges and successes in communication as a leader? What are your questions and suggestions for future videos? We appreciate your feedback and support. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. We upload new videos every week on various topics related to leadership, legacy, and personal development. Thank you again for watching this video. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors as a leader. Remember, communication is the key to successful leadership and legacy. So, keep communicating effectively and make a positive difference in the world. See you in the next video. Bye for now.